Okay guys, so I wanted to show you exactly how this girl gets this into this pot. All right, so here goes my cabbage. Okay, so of course you wanna take that, that piece off. And what I do is I just, like I said, I just split it right in half, just like that. And I just basically just throw it in just like that. But before I do that, um, I wanted to tell you as well, I add in the yellow onion too. So I get this going too in there as well, because it all goes in together. So I apologize if I didn't say that in my last video. All right, and it just gives it an extra onion kick flavor to the cabbage. Super delicious. All right. So my pot is back here. Um, I don't know if you're able to see that. I'll turn right here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that works. All right, I just pushed it back so you're able to see me, my station over here when I chop things up. All right, so pink salt, okay, oops. That's what I'm using. And I put a lot of this in there, about two, two tablespoons. Okay, that should do the work. All right, and I go ahead and I start cutting my onion. So let me back here, okay. Now I do this in dices, okay. chop board and it doesn't have to be really small dices but um just a decent size i guess i want to say all right so let me just show you something like that so i throw the onions in first okay that's the first thing i do So again, I hope everybody's just keeping it safe out there. With the kiddos, my kiddos have been, like I said, all over the place with their timing and it's been really rough on my kids. However, we have been getting some good air and there's a lot of videos that I have to upload about the things we've been doing. Um, so when I get a chance, if not tomorrow, the following day, I'll upload some of those videos. Like I said, uh, the balloons that we did for my mom in the sky on Mother's Day. Um, the walk. I, yeah, I did upload the walk in the park. Yeah, I did do that. However, my Mother's Day um, stuff too, I want to upload that with you guys as well. All right. So we just basically just throw those in. Just like this. And I do them facing down. Okay. Just like that facing down. Okay, so I'm going to give you an up close so you can see what it looks like. And that's going to rock out for about 20 minutes and that's on a medium high. So you want to get that cooking. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and throw a lid on it before I get here. So that's what it should look like, just like that. And I add a little bit of pepper as well. So pepper, salt, one small yellow onion, and a small head of cabbage. As you see, that's pretty small. All right, so there you have it. So bye-bye. Let that rock out. Okay, so I thought maybe I'd just keep you on there so I can just continue chopping, prepping doing all my prepping in my station. Now this is my cucumber. Now I do take some of the skin off and some I leave on. And it's just for color, for, for the mix with the cabbage presentation. Doesn't hurt to have a little bit of it. So what I do is I just leave one long line in the middle. Okay, and this is just a half a cucumber, y'all. That's it. I'm telling you, this cabbage mix is to die for. Yeah, super delicious. All right, I'm gonna just push this to the back. All right, and then I just basically just go ahead and I just, little dices, okay. Now this doesn't go in my grinder. This stays, stays out, because these are gonna be just the way I want them. Okay, so I do very small dices, small as you can. 
You don't want to do big ones. You want to keep it small. That way you don't have that big crunch with that cabbage. So you want to keep these dices pretty small. Okay. And this is going to have some very pretty color in it. Let me tell you why. Because that packet of Sag Song is going to go in this mix with that cabbage. Oh my God. This is going to be so delicious. So I hope you guys are taking notes. <laughs> this is some good stuff. And I've done a, another cabbage mix in my video, so please check that out um, for club sandwiches that I did before. Different twists, like I said, I do different twists. Okay, so again, try to get those really small. All right, and about two more of these to go. Yeah, so today was really pretty out. I really enjoyed that. Okay, we're just about done. Okay. Make it nice and small. <laughs> Yeah, this girl's pretty tired today. You know, that does that does do a little toll on you when you do yard work, so. But it needed to be done. All right, that's good. All right, and we're just gonna push that aside. All right, now for the jalapeno, this is already charred. I actually got this like this at the um, at the bodega, the Mexican bodega, and um, they have it just like that wrapped up, like if you buy tacos and stuff like that. Um, we had, what did we have? Oh, we had a, it's called a huarache. They're really super, super delicious. It's like uh, it mixed up uh, with a flatbread and it has uh, avocado, mozzarella cheese. It's really one of my favorites and it's really cheap. You can put chicken in it. You can ask for chicken. You can ask for steak in it, uh, pork. Um, it's very known in, in the Mexican com community with those delicious guaraches. They're super, super duper delicious. And it's only like six bucks and it's like this big. Really, really good. Anyway, so I, I grabbed this uh, over there because I was going to use a different kind of pepper, but I figured this would be perfect. Jalapeno is very hot, so I'm not using the whole thing. I am just using, however, the tip. Just a little tip to give it a, a nice little spunk. All right. All right, there you have it. So this is gonna go away. All right. And like I said, you can X this out if you're not into the hot stuff, but I know you guys gotta know by now, I really like my spicy stuff too. So like I said, I do want to promote uh, for some more views mid-June. Um, so that way I can get that going as well. All right. And the avocado, I'll save that, open that for last. Here's our, this is one of our main ingredients. This side stone goes in that cabbage, honey. You don't know what you're missing. All right, so that's pretty much it for the chopping up. However, we do have these delicious Goya Fancy Pepamientos. And we're gonna just do like, a, um, I'm gonna say about a one fourth of this, okay? So we can get to that right now, actually. Hmm. Oh, this is kind of really slippery. I did have one of those rubbery things and I can't find it anywhere. Okay, so look how pretty those come out. Have you, if you seen, look how nice and wet. So we're gonna do about one fourth. Remember guys, I use this in my pastelillos, in my pastels. This is really good. It's, it just has a nice juicy, juicy spunk to it. So that's about a one fourth. And I'm gonna be chopping that up really pretty as well. All right, so we're done with this. All right, so all we have back here pretty much is the Spanish olives, which that, that's going to go with the toothpicks on top of the sandwiches, uh, slices. Um, so that's it. This is all the chopping up that we're going to do here. So, um, however, when I do, like I said, when I do chop up my um, 
my cabbage, I put it into my Bella blender. Okay, and the only thing I put in this inside of here is the jalapeno and the uh, fancy pepimientos goya. The cucumber stays out because I like it to be have that crunch. And that's pretty much it. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot out this video. And uh, I am going to get the mayo, the whipped dressing, a little bit of that garlic salt. And that's pretty much it. All this is going to go into my... Uh, Bella blender however um since this because i should have used my food processor actually back here so i can just do it all in one shot um so i'm gonna just doing gonna be doing little cups of the cabbage in here so i can't really put too too much but it's it'll work just the way i want it to um so yeah the only thing you're gonna be adding in is about um i would say per, per uh 16 ounce cup you're gonna be adding one uh one full tablespoon of the dressing and one full tablespoon of the uh, mayo. Also, you're going to just be doing sprinkles with this. So you have to do it, like I said, if you're going to be doing it this way, then you have to do little teeny sprinkles, just pinches, I should say, not sprinkles, pinches. All right, so we're going to check out that. I think about another 10, 10, 15, ah, about 10 minutes, 10, 12 minutes, that'll be done. And then we're going to go ahead and let that cool off. And then I'm going to start chopping those uh, bad boys up. All right. So please don't miss it. Next video coming up. Mm -hmm.